In this video, I'm going to show you how to look after sheep in Farming Simulator 19, so you can add them to your farm and sell their wool as another income stream. Welcome to the Timelapse Farmer channel. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button. You can find all the links to everything mentioned in this video in the description below. Let's get started. Sheep are among the easiest animals to take care of in Farming Simulator 19. They take a little more work than chickens, but give you some more options when it comes to making money. Sheep reproduce, which lets you passively increase the number of sheep that you have and allows you to sell your additional sheep. Today, we're going to look at how we get sheep, how we look after them, and what to do with the wool you collect. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll share with you three of the mods that I like to use for sheep. So you can check these out once we've covered the basics. So, if you go into the Buildings tab of the shop, under Animal Pens, you'll see there are two sizes of sheep pasture you can buy. There's the standard size, which holds up to 80 sheep, at a cost of 65,000 and 65 per day, and a large pasture, which holds up to 250, at a cost of 180,000 and 180 per day, making the large option better value for money in terms of the number of sheep. After you've placed your pasture, you need to get your sheep. You do this by standing in front of the gate where you'll see the Animog dialog option appear in the top left. Press R to open this and buy your sheep. You also have the option to transport your sheep yourself to save on the delivery costs. To do this, you need to purchase an animal trailer from the shop. These are found in the tools menu under animal transport. To transport the sheep yourself, take the trailer to the animal dealer. Pressing R opens the menu where you can buy as many sheep as your trailer can hold. Then drive your trailer into the marked zone and press R to open the menu to unload your sheep into the pasture. You can monitor the status of your sheep from the Animal Dialog tab in the main menu. Here you can see their productivity, which affects how often they will produce wool and reproduce. To the right of the screen it shows cleanliness, water and food. These are the three things that you need to manage to keep up their productivity. For water, you'll need to buy a water tank. Under the tools menu in the shop, you'll find water tanks under animals. You'll also need to buy a water station, which once placed can be used to fill up your water tank by driving the tank up to the station and pressing R when the option appears in the top left. Now take your filled water tank to the trough in the sheep enclosure which dips in the center and press I to fill it. For food, you can use either hay or grass, and there are two ways to fill up. You can either use hay or grass that you've collected by mowing, or you can use bales. Drive your trailer or loading wagon to the angled trough and press I to fill it. For bales, you'll need a front loader with an attachment for bales. Simply drop the bale into the area in front of the trough to fill. This works with both square and round bales. After some time has passed, your sheep will start making a mess by the trough area. Pick this up by using a front loader with a bucket attachment and deposit it back in the trough to clear the cleanliness meter. Keeping your productivity maxed allows your sheep to reproduce, which increases their number and the rate at which they generate wool. Wool appears in the designated area in pallets. You'll need a front loader with pallet fork attachment to load your wool onto a trailer. Wool can only be sold at one location, the spinnery. We'll mark the spinnery on the map, drive to the delivery point, and offload our pallets to sell them. So now you know the basic mechanics, you can check out the available mods. Here are three of my favorites. The Sheepfold version one mod provides a larger pasture with an additional building. The pasture holds the same number of sheep as the standard version, but at a cost of 5,000, it's a fraction of the cost of the original. The animal drop-off point is inside the field to the left, and wool collects inside the main building. Version 2 of the Sheepfold mod expands on the first by adding a large storage shed. This is where your wool appears and stores much more wool than the original. There are also shelves where you can store pallets, fertilizers, or whatever you need, and the shed has spotlights at each end. With this version, your sheep will produce manure. The manure collects inside the main building and you'll need a front loader with bucket attachment to pick it up. A storage area has been added outside the main building, which is ideal for storing manure. 
the capacity of this pasture has also been increased to 250, which matches that of the large standard pasture. If you're a fan of open plan, then the open sheep pasture is for you. This pasture holds 110 sheep and includes a shed for storing items and vehicles. Wool collects next to the shed and the fill-up troughs are located next to each other. This pasture has no fences and your sheep will roam freely in an area around the shed. And that's it. I hope you found this guide useful. You can check out the other videos in this channel in case there's something else for you. Thanks for watching.